I'm a thief. I'm a thief of words. And we're all liars, we're all thieves. I don't care if you're writing or anything. We all steal from each other, okay? And I, and I learn from other writers. If I'm gonna steal from you, I'm gonna let you know I'm stealing from you, okay? I'm a pirate, I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna take something from you. I started writing when I was in jail, when I was like 17. I, I, I kept a journal in jail. I never, I never thought I was a writer. In a way, I was cursed with that. There's no matter what I can do, I would always have to write about something. Uh, when I first came here, I was living in the shelters, uh, making eight bucks an hour at the slave labor. And I joined Thursday's writing collective. At the Carnegie, across the street. I met Brad Crane, and I showed him one of my poems, which I wrote when I was on the streets. And he said, turn your journals into poems. That was a moment for me, where I started writing my stuff into poetry, not just journaling. What that did was kind of make me alive. You know what I mean? It just, it just, it, it, it just, uh, it just blew up. This poem is called "Pain and Wastings." A city tour bus stops at the corner of Maine and Hastings with wide-eyed tourists. Women look like witches in Polanski's Macbeth. Men starving vampires in black and white. Circling the drains of the downtown east side. My writing is uh, through the gutter and through the trenches. My muse is uh, down here. It's about the downtown east side. It's deep and dark, I guess. I don't want to end up on the street again, you know. I don't want to end up back there. I, I spent a long time there. There's a long way to go, and I don't know how far I'll get there. Keep on writing and keep on the, keep on doing, man. You know.